yes, it is time for Team Liquid against Falcons. Fog, this should be a pretty fantastic matchup, and as the panel was alluding to, a matchup that should have a lot of uh, a lot of skirmishing, a lot of yeah. action. So old school kind of stuff is like Kunkka and Sven versus Gyro. You provide a lot of mitigation for your team, a lot. especially physical, right? Something. So I think that's why they wanted to go for this Lina because it can be this mixed hybrid. We'll see what build Maureen wants to go fully in the game. But in a couple games, I've seen him go the Agonims route. So I'm curious to see what it will be as. Insania steps up a bit far. Let's see what they can do with this. They've got the disruption, but there is backup for Insania. I'm going to try and chase him down. McKay offers up a stun. We'll catch on to Skeeter. Insania, he's still going to be the first to fall, though. Zamar's able to take him down with the spear. Liquid, they'll get Skeeter in return, but first blood, it is Amaz. In reality, in these pro games, 32 and 12. I think he's only missed, what, like... Three? three? Right, I, I believe, think so, or something right? like That's that. Some quick maths. Yeah, wow. Something like that. Pretty insane. Uh, a couple maybe neutrals, but whatever. Skeeter gets I mean, the rocket. They might have an effort at, at, at getting their kill here. It's a lot of damage. The missile's in. They've got the rocket barrage. 33's trying to break away from Skeeter, but the body blocks are coming in from Snaking. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. And Snaking with a Warpine Raider will finish off the kill. Up on the top lane, Insania is able to make sure they get crit. That's the thing as well, because it really is only just a bit. You know, you look at the it's net only worth. It's only 200 gold at the moment yeah. between these two. So despite that solo kill earlier, the fact you're bringing in resources to take down Maureen again, Maureen, in reality, is not really getting shaken up that much. And 33 is going to need help. Like, his hero is really important for them to have early team fight. And he's level four, and he has the same net worth as the supports. Uh -oh. And might just die again. There's a couple of stacks of poison coming in. He's going to get snowballed over towards Snaking. They've got the four of them here, Liquid, oh. trying to fight back at them. 33 will live if the X-Mark combo as well to catch on to Snaking as Liquid, they will punish the two supports of Falcons this time round. And Amar just getting the free pressure on the tower here. Liquid, as I say, not likely to really bring anyone up here. They're just going to have to let Falcons have that Mid part lane. of the map. Nish is going to try again with the setup. He's coming in there, in with the silence, but Mallorine's still able to have that light strike array. The dodge is there with the snowball. Mallorine will fall, but Amar, he's ready to try and make Liquid pay. He'll get the catch on Boxy with the spear in the arena. Up top, Skeeter. He's kind of going for Mickey with the help of snaking underneath the location. tower. They're able to take him out. Liquid, they've got Nisha and Insania coming up towards this top lane, as well as further back up inbound to see if they can punish either of the two of them. Skeeter, he's well out of there. They'll settle for the grab back on snaking. The disruption no, nice is there. We'll give him the chance to continue to run from these three heroes. He's going to get away. And indeed, they've got nothing no left to catch him with. And continue to play aggressive around their vision. They see Insania again here. But everyone's rotating. Everybody wants to fight. Yeah, I mean, the. I think Falcons, they're not too scared. Got the snowball coming in, but the disruption save is there onto Snaking. He'll still fall. The Liquid, Barf. they'll get one. See if they can get anything more. Skeeter's ready to sort of play this fight as well. He's dancing around the edge of it, and now he's ready to get stuck in. Looks Mar right over towards Boxy in 33. The coil is upon them, but do they actually have the damage to take these kills down? They'll be able to jump back in with Nisha to burst through crit. But they've already lost the two of them, including, of course, the main man, Nisha, there going down on the puck. And the it's dream. not a fight that they're happy with, Liquid. They're losing these the trades. They know that Falcons have split back up. So a chance to catch them separate from one another. Checking out these Ancients, blocking out some camps, getting some info. Double warded, actually. Oh, smoke on smoke here. Liquid, they're going to make the jump first on towards Crit. Nice static. Make sure that there's no further backup to... Help Crit out in that initial jump. Nisha. Falcons might still have a chance at a fight, though, because they've got the Spear it's Connection got and the Laguna. They'll burst straight through Nisha and through Boxy. 33, 33 is sort of well. left on his own here. Trapped in the arena. He'll try and run away from this all. But there's a missile heading his way. Snaking and Skeeter slowly running him down. He's very likely to be going out as well. Double kill wow. for Skeeter. Falcons take the team fight. So, Shadow Demon overall versus Kunkka is an excellent counter in most situations. You're able to stop so many different one of these combos. And versus Disruptor, actually. This this SD pick, even though his first pick feels like it solves quite a bit. Amar? Snowball from Boxy. Why not end up too well? Okay, they'll drop the static stop. He's got the Yules to buy him a little bit of time. Hey, Amar, is he able to survive through he's this? He's the arena. He's, he's alive. Up. He's fine. Uh-oh. They try and get the setup. It goes horribly wrong here, Liquid. And Myrene is going full spellcaster. So the rest of his team is a lot of physical. He's all that magic. Mickey. Okay. Okay. They're going to get the jump on him. They try for the spirit to light strike. The combo's not quite clean enough. He's still able to step away. There's but a... the Yules, is anything else left to play an with? There's still an arena. 
And Mars got the catch. It doesn't matter that they don't hit the initial combo. They get the two kills at the end of it all. In the mid, Boxy and Isha, they're trying for snaking. He's tanky. He's getting the heels off. He's walking away. They can't He's finish all right. him. And the now... backup's inbound, and the rest are wrapping across. As Amar's here, Nisha's got to be careful with the way that he gets out of this. Boxy, he doesn't really have a whole lot of options. He's got the snowball, but the Yules is there. Amar's got the catch. It's going to be another pick here for Falcons. Good lord. A couple of them have come this through is... the twin gate, but... Okay. I don't think much else is going to be done here other than maybe getting some wards down. Actually, no, insane. Cutting not the wave? At the moment, I guess. Yeah, he's, he just thunderstruck the wave. Dyer's okay. Looking for a flank. This is a dangerous part of the map. I mean, they're TPing out. Maybe you can stop a TP. Okay, let's see. I mean, Liquid, they've got their item timings, but what can they do with it? Skeeter's they, actually leaving. They do have the number of Vantage. They they're going to have to set up on him. He has got the Aegis. Let's see if they can get through him the twice, and maybe even not the once. But the, the, the damage is not quite there. They got crit. Skeeter's able to step away. They'll jump in with the Waning Rift, and they have got McKay in with the God Strength. So they've taken out Skeeter the once. McKay is going to try and deal with snaking off to the side. They'll ignore Skeeter for now. Over to the top, Mars Court. They're on He's him. staying in the arena. They're going for round two on Skeeter. He'll get the flat cannon off, but Ooh. they will kill him. The devil Liquid. Nice. Able to make a move at a time where indeed Falcons, they were starting to retreat, starting to back out of that area. Love to see it. BKB for Kunkka, 33 on lot safer. Unless he gets caught in the get the opening first. spit. They'll be able to pick nice him up pace. into the snowball. Mickey's popping the God Strength. He's ready to fight from the side. Goes Skeeter. straight in on the Skeeter. Skeeter, he's able to get the BKB on crit. Turns with the disruption onto Mickey, holding him back for now. Amar pops the BKB. Starts to back away here from the Torrent Storm that 33's laid down. Mickey? Look. I mean, Snaking's just hitting him. I mean, he's just standing his ground at <laughs> Snaking. I mean, Boxy, he's got to use the snowball to dodge this potential missile that was heading his way. So I'm going to end up pulling himself down into the river and uh, into imminent death. Instead, he's just using the statics on the kinetic field to try and stop them from being able to push up to the high ground. So Ooh. far, it's just a support for support. Nisha. The Amar, arena. He gets him with the wall. He actually does. The wall is out. And Nisha gets caught by that little bit of burst damage from the pushback. Mickey's going to go for the BKB TP out at the end of it. And he'll make it away. Still, though, Liquid. Radiance the one to take a bit more of a hit there with a the loss of Nisha in that fight. All right, cool. Liquid. Set up, snaking, runs in with no fear. They're gonna try with a very slow punch up on a snaking, but Boxy, he gets quite a nasty surprise there as Marin comes in hot with the Laguna Blade. They get the to open things up on towards Mickey. Mickey, very, very low. He'll try and force his way out with the Ags over towards him, but now had to pop his BKP, but he's already lost 80% of his health. He's dead. He's gone for 70. My goodness. He just gets baited. I mean, just so much damage is done before he gets the chance to, to get his BKB off. I mean, it, it wasn't on cooldown, right? He just no. didn't have the chance to pop it any it was, earlier. These Mars players are... Uh, lately, I feel like I've been seeing them do it so much more. The point-blank blinks right in your face, and they get the and spear. And now Maureen, he's looking for solo pickoffs or solo setups, at least with the Hex. Indeed, catches Nisha wow. by surprise. Nisha's out. 33 now, completely on his own up here. He's got the BKB and the TP. They don't have an answer for that one, so he'll live. What can Liquid do about this? And there's actually no repositioning right now. There's no tidal wave on the Kunkka still just yet, so they can actually push this one without a risk of someone getting oh, pulled in back in mid. They got this set up on a Mickey! He's, He's just gone. dead! And he does not have buyback! Oh. 500 oh. gold short! Oh. I mean, you've got to be so careful playing out like that when there's this, this, this hex in the game from Malreen. Mickey gets caught, and this is going to be very painful, if not maybe close to the game. It looks like two sets at the least. Still 30 seconds without Mickey. Aegis getting reclaimed in five. Sticking his ground. Amar. He's ready to dive in aggressively. Nisha will jump over towards him with the silence. They're just making the space so they can continue to push onto the barracks. 15 seconds. I mean, the melee racks, they're going down. Amar, he's got the setup. He'll drop it onto Insania. Takes hey, out the killing them. The racks are gone. Crip. He's in over towards 33. 33 has to put the BKB on turn with the boat over towards Snaking. McKay's back in action. Can they punish Falcons at all for this? Nisha's got the coil onto the two of them. They burst through crit. He got Snake. Let's see if they can look towards the mark. <laughs> dealt with the two supports, but can Ooh. Liquid deal with the cores of Falcons? There's the Hex again, Mickey. Okay, cool. Put the Hex into the Light Strike. 
Nisha managing to push Maorin away though. So Mickey, BKB. he can maybe consider still getting back in on Double this. Cash. Amar jumps in. They'll go forward aggressively here, Mickey, with the BKB and the stun over towards Amar. But he's getting beaten down here by the right flicks of Maorin. Mickey has to run. The last few fouls, the hits from the, the flag, bringing him low. Amar's got the finisher. He, he has got buyback available now, Mickey, but Nisha doesn't, Boxy doesn't. Falcons just continuing to play with their food here. The corners are still full strength. They've got the Ags on Insania. Okay. See what they can do with this. Not dropping the Static Storm yet. The buybacks come out from Mickey. Get up the Satanic. It's 33. Some of the refresh. They'll get the glimpse back, but the destruction's Disruption. there from Crit. It's saving Skeeter from a lot, but is it saving him from enough? Mickey's able to close it on him. They've got the Static Storm down on him as well. But Mario for the side is able to learn up the stun. Take out Mickey. It's game over. GG is called. Falcons will get this game one against Team Liquid. Oh my god, and the Shadow Demon goes BKB mode at the end. Something you don't see every day, but holy crap. What a game. Falcons from start to finish, it felt like in this one. The lanes just... Okay, mid lane, Liquid put a ton of attention to shut down Maureen, right? But what ends up happening is 33 is very shut down in this game. And it weren't for the Lina coming out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Zeus is... Oh, like, I don't know, I was looking at like this... A hero like a DK that will lane well and jump, obviously is taken out. They will go for the Zeus anyway. Well, you say that there is a chance that this could be rougher than game one. It, it could be, I feel like, but... Perhaps just the power of Luna being a really strong hero, and same thing with Zeus, and especially that timing that you provide globally. Let's we'll see. Let's see if we get a bit of first blood action here. Falcons trying to get the set up here with the disruption into the light track ray on towards Boxy. And the fair fire's there, but they'll still get him first. First blood goes towards Skeeter. Liquid in return will manage to take down Snaking, and they'll also take out Skeeter. So they'll get the two kills in return for this Liquid. His lanes are kind of broken. 33 is looking for a creep, level 3. Wraith King is left alone, so Skeeter, he's going to pull far ahead in this farm now. Yeah, Boxy. Oop, the glimpse. Time a for nice some setup. TP. That's a good glimpse back. Do they have the damage? Verifies there. Jump forward for Nisha. Oop. One more spell will do it. He's right gonna... clicks alone. He's going to though. die to the tower. He will. But of course, the XP was for him. As he's able to take down Malreen first. Nice TP from Boxy. That was a cool play. Rather than going back toward top lane, wants to just try to apply some pressure. Again, just like last time, just prioritizing to shut down Malreen a little bit. Skeeter now, though. 33's turning on him. This double null. I so bam. much damage here. <laughs> the 33 is able to dish out towards Skeeter. Very cool. And it's nighttime now, so Lunar Blessing all across the, the bottom map. Bottom lane. Insane and Mika, they're chasing down him up. I mean, Amar's considering turning because Insania is also rather low, but he turns straight back towards oh, Mickey. Mickey and Insania are able to easily take him out. And they get Skeeter Box. He's able to get the snipe. He puts a ward down. It actually just finds him low HP. A 2k lead. I'm mean, going to see how they can sort of ride this out here, Liquid. Definitely, as you say, seems to be the approach this game. Focus on the lanes and just, mm -hmm. you know, that hopefully for from their perspective, everything else will fall into position if they get as good of a start as they are getting. This Doom was already used before, but he's pretty tanky. He's got this Helm of Iron Will finish. Is it tanky enough, though? Perfect setup for the arrow. Great fire Blast to follow. It will be enough to allow them to take 33 down. Nicely done. Uh, unlike he's to be punished. Knows that Falcons have got their efforts focused on top lane with the three of them pushing that tier one. They want Amar again. Let's see if he gets them back. He's up. got the boat, though. Let's see. I mean, he's not going to last matter. soon enough to buff him up. Another kill here for Liquid, bullying Amar's Kunkka. Man, Enchant is such a good ability. <laughs> and he just and up move. top, 33. He's getting some action going as well. The Thunder God's Wrath comes in. They're able to take out Snaking. And he's also able to finish off Crit. Liquid getting the early lead this game. 11 to 6, 2,000 gold lead. Mick is the one who has full freedom because of the pressure that's being applied all over the place. He's at the top. Daytime is hit, so Lunar Blessing no longer global presence. Still will have that Thunder Gods, of course. Insania should be pretty dead here. Disrupted into the arrow. The burst of the Laguna Blade and Dragon Slave will take him out. Mickey, considering Take's helping Nisha out as Nisha, they're trying to get in on top of the Zeus. Mickey trading back at them to try and dissuade them from committing it to get the kill. It won't stop them. They take down Nisha. He's under attack. Bring in the numbers. I think he just hit six to get the purge right after the kill. Amar. With the rest of this Moonlight Shadow as well, considering the setup onto Mickey. His boat is up in one second. 
He's got the X mark. Is there any help for Mickey coming in? There's four heroes of Falcons going in for the Lunar kill. The Light Strike lands. They take down another big kill here. Falcons with a solid punch back. Valrain, who got ganked him a couple times, still top net worth after these moves now. Crip, can they get some trade kills? He will fall. Can 33 on Boxing catch anything else here, though? Snaking's already up to the high ground. Clips. Can he get in Box range? Boxy's trying to see if he can get some sort of drag back, he and does. he can. He does give away the fact that there's vision there, though. And, so. and he's just going to drop the static storm. As you say, with the fact that he reveals that the wall's there, he wants to make yeah. sure that kill is not getting away from them. And, and it won't. 33 is able to finish it off. More gold for the Doom. An instant sentry placed down, though, so they will be at least able to scout it. And make a changes, actually. He had the Dragon Lance queued, but he goes just straight farm style, buys the Yasha. They've hit the scan, they know that someone's up here, and it is Skeeter. Moonlight Shadow kicks back in, but the sentry's down. Liquid are prepared, TP backup will be coming in for Skeeter. Crit turns up, Crit immediately going to get doomed there from 33, as 33 takes Crit out of the fight. Amar, he'll drop the boat combo, but Skeeter's gone down the once. Ballerine, Light Strike Array, the full combo dropped over towards Nisha, he burst through the Zeus. Mickey though, he's punching heavily into Skeeter. Oh, he died. Skeeter's out, 33, he's kind of cleaning up, he's in on a Snake King. Snake King cannot stand this ground against the Doom. Double kill for 33, the fight's liquid. Uh, a couple heroes still getting low, poisons the rum. Get 33, can they get Insania as well? I mean, X Mark is up. He's not got any heal for a few seconds. Arian's starting to fall low on the mana. He's got enough for the light strike. The heals are out. Insania's walking away, but the tide bringer angle's there from Amar. So they may have got the beginning of the fight and the tower, but Falcons will make Liquid pay. Beginning of what ended up being quite the cleanup. Glimpse. Disruption to protect. Fritz here as well on the side. He's ready to leap in aggressively. Looks for the angle. On the arrow, gets the connection onto Boxy. The X marks there from Amar into the torrent. It's going to be Boxy going down. Liquid hemorrhaging a few kills here. And Maureen just keeps getting all the last hits. I mean, they're going to chase down Insania. They should have some catch in a second. And all the best that Insania could do is sort of just try and waste as much time as possible. But it's imminent death for him. As Falcons striking back. And that little bit of a lead that Liquid were holding onto from the early game. It is slipping away. It is. <laughs> There's that Radiance. They didn't proc the Reincarnation. And there is a Static Storm on cooldown for 60 seconds. Marine. Amar. Teasing around with the set of boxes. Mickey, but the Doom's going to get dropped here for 33. Defensive Disruption comes out for the Snake King, and they're still trying to focus down the Kunker. 33 will stay on top of him, but it has led to the split where uh, Mickey's been left on his own almost. He's just gone. He's out of the fight. The back lines are falling, but Peter. Skeeter's ready for round two. He'll turn towards 33 with the Rayfire Fire Blast. Crit and Snake King poking in from the side, but Nisha, he's dished out his entire mana pool of damage, and it's too much for the Wraith King to live through. As Skeeter goes down, Liquid, they've found three. Can they find more crit? He'll go down. They'll get themselves a fourth kill out of this one, Liquid. Nice Doom. Is under attack. Great play there. Nisha's able to get a full mana mana pool pretty much casted with an arcane rune to boot, so might just be snaking, just maybe annoying him a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit far from the rest of the team. Yeah, snaking. He's going to stay under the cover of smoke. We'll now come to an end as it gets caught by the dispel close enough here from the Luna. He did not BKB. Man third. I Still half of the rest of the team to capitalize on it. They're going to try and turn towards Insania, and they'll blow him up very quickly. They also get the X mark drag back onto 33 Falcons. Oh, those are big catches. Mika can't fight half HP. He's got to run. Uh, they have to get the hell out of it. Liquid uh, Nisha. Nisha? They've got eyes on him here. With crit leading him with the Moonlight Shadow. And Skeeter, he's in with the jump. Oh, Nisha. Oh, oh, he's able to pop that to dodge the stun, but he will not be able to save himself as oh, Amar's God. got the drag back with the X mark. Three quick kills for Falcons, just like that. Just the way they started, too. I think so. I They've got the Orb of Destruction. Bit of a difficult part of the map for Liquid to get to. Yep. And fighting into this area versus now the Aghanim's yeah, Kunko, which they have to assume. It's a risk coming down here. You only have the single BKB on your core, on your I mean, Luna. They also kind of have to. They've hit the scan. Okay, they're they going to go for it. They definitely try for this. So he was able to get the jump first. He was able to start this off. They're not dying that fast. They're scouting out with the Thunder God's Wrath. They'll catch Crit pretty low here. The damage coming in from Insania. Crit has to turn with the arrow. We'll get the connection. And he'll tick down into the Thunder Strike. Static Storm's been dropped by Boxy. Great doom. But Skeeter's in on top of him. They've killed Boxy off. He buys back immediately here. They've taken out Skeeter the once. So they can go for round two. Light Strike Ray coming in for the trees from Maureen as he drops it in onto 
the Enchantress, but instead he's too tanky. He's glimmered up, he's ready to continue to push forward. Mickey, Maureen. he's got the damage coming in with the ult, and the Looster beams out onto Malarine. Malarine's out, Mickey's over to Snaking. They'll get the Shadow Demon as well here, Liquid. Is it charged? Daytime. We've got the... Is that a potential day from Snaking? He's uh -oh. looking. Mickey? BKB cooldown two seconds. Oh, and Snaking's in. Oh. Anisha's there, ready to back up and turn around and burst through the Shadow Demon. Snaking goes down. BKB's, the BKB's up. Mickey's ready to hold his ground. Skeeter and Omar, they're getting shredded oh. here by the damage of Luna. <laughs> Triple kill for Mickey. Liquid's ready for the cleanup. Maureen's Give the, the BKB rampage. TP out, but the Lucent Beam's there. Ultra kill oh. for Mickey. Only crit able to make it out of that one. But that's a whole lot of golden XP there that's going to the carry of Liquid. Falcons are moking again. Moonlight into smoke, but it's a difficult fight to take. Trying to get that perfect angle for the fight. Oh, Rain will show himself kind of for a second there with the stun nuke. That can't be anything less than perfect. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Falcons. Liquid's closing in on them. 33 leading the way. It's got a ward. Sania, they're going to look towards him. Skeeter jumps in. Bit of a tickle. So quick from Insania to reset. Another glimpse. Get the glimpse back, but the disruption's there. Snake King keeping him safe. 33. He's in onto Amar. We'll get the Doom drop down on him. Amar will try and run away here with the BKB. There's Can full retreat for now on Falcons as Liquid is chasing them out. Amar will connect on Tanisha. And Falcons ready to get back in on this. Boxy and 33. They're looking for crit. They've got the Thunder Gods who have to set up for the glimpse back into the Static Storm. Crit's out of the fight. Amar exits himself back. He is going to be coming back to this fight. I mean, the Maureen, doom is done. He's going to look towards bursting through and standing, but he can't drop the full combo. Knows it's not going to be anywhere Skeeter. nearly enough to kill Enchantress. Skeeter, he's out once. They're ready he to go help. in. 33 jumps the back line. So he's back on top of the mar for a second time here, but the burst, the stun control's there. This time, 33's punished. Falcons, they've taken out the Doom. But Mickey's still got BKB, he's Boxy. still got Lincolns, he's just charging in. And he, the kinetic field catches the two of them, Mickey's in with the damage, Skeeter's out, crit as well, it's a dieback for the Mirana. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I see Falcons, the smoke. Okay. Can they catch? Getting Boxy would be pretty big, but the kinetic the field's down. He just tried to jump in, but I mean, he dies so quickly into the damage of Mickey. Can Falcons really continue to try and force Another Doom. I mean, the Doom indeed down onto Amar is going to force the Doom out of the fight for now. Instead, and Mickey just dishing out the damage. Mallory and Skeeter, they've got to run. Skeeter's BKB comes to an end. He's dead. Snake King caught in the kinetic field. It's another easy fight here for Liquid. All right, beautifully done from Nisha. He sends the Manta Zeus illusion in. They actually hexed it. Maureen's full reveal of his hex just gets used on an illusion, and then it's Skidder running in versus nobody, and he's fully isolated. And again, of course, who does 33 find? He finds Amar. The Doom gets put on him right away. No team fight to come out. That's Roche. Will fall. They will commence the final push. To the tier three. God, Snay just oh, wants to get dying. illusions. Jesus, the illusion spreading himself. <laughs> he can't even get the disrupt onto Mickey, is the thing, too. There's a Lincolns. So they need to break that Lincolns before he tries to go for it. Not the moonlight. Falcons, but getting a setup into this. It's not easy. I'm just watching 33, waiting for the jump in. Tier 3. Another Tier illusion. Three the arrow connection onto Insania, but never a target. They want to do much about him. Mars going to lead him with the bow. Get the bow combo Three and the burst. Centaur They're stop. able to take out Insania. But indeed, 33 once again making the jump forward. And he's just sending Falcons running straight back towards the fountain. And Falcons won't lose anyone immediately. Static Storm only going to be dropped solo onto the Shadow Demon here. Lynch back as well. They've killed off Snaking. They've killed off Malreen. No buyback to be had here for Malreen. I believe is he what just short of the gold, a hundred gold. He's close, but not as close as he'd hope for. Thirty-three blinks and gets a three-man war stop and <laughs> start that fight up. Not something you see too often. And the Rax is gone. The mega creeps are out. Liquid, they're just ready to put this one to an end here. As they're over wow. towards the tier fours. Amar tries to pull them back with a wave. He's got a buyback, but there's nothing more to be done. GG is called as Liquid. We'll settle the score here and get the second win in this two-game series, leaving it one-to-one -one here between themselves and Falcons. Feels like these two teams just did an excellent job of identifying 
like, don't let Kunk have a game. Both games, it feels like the two of them were completely shut down. Liquid, some real heads up play, really good aggressive plays in particular. Boxy playing super aggressive, getting some really nice glimpses. Even though there's disruptions and X's and whatnot, it feels like he was getting catch after catch after catch as well with this team too. That was a really nice game. It really was. Uh, a tough one for Falcons. They just, they could never slow Liquid down.